think there's more show. There's more <laughs> no. show. No, I'm going to do it, okay? This year, I'm decorating this set my way, and I want to make it a Christmas like no other that's ever been seen on television. So I decided to consult an artist and Christmas decorating expert who lives in the Palm Springs desert. His name is Kenny Irwin Jr., okay? He visited me at our studio. He's got some unusual ideas. This guy thinks outside the box. Here's what happened. Okay, I'm in my dressing room and I'm sitting with Kenny Irwin Jr. Nice to meet you, Kenny. It's nice to meet you too. Now, you are kind of an expert, I guess, on Christmas decorations, aren't you? Well, I've been doing a major uh, light and art show for about the last 22 years, uh, which incorporates about over 200 robotic artworks, installations of various kinds. We have a picture yeah. of you here. I'm just going to say, visually, this is interesting. This is you posing this from the robot, I guess. This is a major light show, and I had about, oh, six, about close to six million lights then. What's going on with this guy here? This is the... He's called Cyclopto Snowman. <laughs> A cyclops snowman. This is where you see the alien form with Christmas lights in the background. If you were told me green embryo alien with Christmas lights, I would say no. But I look at this and I say no. <laughs> What's going on here? This guy's it's terrifying. <laughs> well, this is uh, Robo uh, Rudolph. Do you think someday we could send a Robo Rudolph to Mars or to Jupiter or Venus? That would be very cool. Oh, yeah, I'm very much into uh, space exploration technology. <laughs> I think Cyclopto Snowman could pilot Robo Rudolph to another planet. Yeah. And together, they could tell other beings about this world. You should also know about Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Sam Magnetron Claus. <laughs> Did you just say what I think you said? Did you just say Mr. and Mrs. Sam Magnetron Claus? Yes. Tell us about Mr. and Mrs. Sam Magnetron Claus. Well, basically, I microwaved uh, Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus inside the giant 20-foot tall microwaving robot. But people have said this could never be done. <laughs> so you got a microwave uh, Mr. and Mrs. Claus in a giant microwave. What happened when you hit the button? It sparked, it made plasma, lightning, electrical discharges, and uh, then they both kind of uh, went, boom. You blew up the head of Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus. Yes, and then I reattached them to the figures, and I created the new, uh, the new versions, which You're is... You madman. <laughs> what are you doing? You're playing God. Well, not really. Uh, just harnessing the raw power of microwaves. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing with microwaves and bombarding Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. Why did you have to bring her into it? Well, basically, I wanted to improve them. They have all new features now. They have all new eyes. Um, they There's have... one thing you forgot, Kenny. They can no longer love. <laughs> they absolutely can love. Oh, can they, ever oh they can. Okay, yeah. forget that. So they can love. I want to mix it up. That's why I brought you in. I want you to do the lights on my set because you're not just going to put up a couple of candy canes and some hot chocolate and Santas, are you? Uh, no. No. It would be a giant Godzilla holding a candy cane, battling it out with a King Kong uh, holding Santa's sleigh over his head. That's genius. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> so you're going to do a, a Christmas decorations for my set that no one's ever seen before on television. Yeah, exactly. Ever since the history of storytelling began when humanity first uh, first came upon this world. Really? Yeah. You're going back to caveman times. Uh, and, well, I could say going back into the past and into the distant future at the same time. You can go into the future, too? Oh, absolutely. Take me with you. Look here. This is my set. Pretty conventional. Yeah. Uh, desk, chair. Uh, that's the moon. I'm sure you've been there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get to this. This is a bit of a delicate issue. This is the producer's podium. This is where he stands during the show. Okay. Um, he is a Jewish man. His name is Jeff Ross. Okay. Um, I looked and looked, but they're all, all of them are Jewish. So I'm thinking maybe we should reflect. I don't want to put him inside a Christmas bag, man. Is there some way that I can represent my producer Jeff Ross's uh, Judaism here in a uh, respectful way? Yeah, all blue lights. Blue. Blue is, is Jewish? Yes. That's a Jewish color. 
And so maybe, yeah, something like a Star of David, but what about a robot rabbi next to Jeff Ross? Um, or uh, maybe some kind of Jewish icon over here. You yeah. Know, yeah, like a, a, a Larry King or someone, someone that just <laughs> signals Judaism. Okay. I want this to reflect not just Christmas, but I want it to reflect all religions. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's uh, that definitely might, that uh, might, very admirable. Well, think. just to get me more viewers. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, because I don't really care, but just whatever. <laughs> so you're envisioning on this set robots, reindeer, uh, Godzillas, possibly a, a King Kong uh, throwing a sled. This Including is what a giant UFO that landed on your set. Yeah. You're going to put a UFO in there, too. What about like a giant inflatable chicken sandwich? Would you be able to incorporate that into our Christmas scene? Uh, I don't see why not. Well, you might be vegan. I don't know. <laughs> this is a device we have on the set called a Handy Herman. Look at that. The power you've always dreamed of having. <laughs> you now have. Look at you, you're cackling. Well, there definitely should be somebody in here dressed up as a robo Santa with a big, huge helmet on saying- Why a helmet? Because it makes them look more robotic and gives them super uh, armored, uh, you know, protection. Just Who's in case. attacking Santa? Well, you never know. It could be Black Peter. Who's Black Peter? Uh, the bad Santa Claus. <laughs> if it can be done here in the studio, it should have all the pyrotechnics you can pack onto this thing. I'm going to leave you to your work, okay? okay? I'm going to step out of the frame and you just look around you and wonder at all the magic you're going to create. It'll be fun.